Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very cool workflow that allows you not only to change the background of an image, but also redirect the lightning using the AC light workflow. This technique is very useful when you want to change the background of an image or product, then you face up with the issue of lightning that is not coherent with the background of the image. However, with this AC light group, we can fix this issue. So without further ado, let's get started. So AC light, it's a nose that came up recently, which was created by KJI. You can find the link on the description to his GitHub page. It allows you to redirect light according to a certain mask that you can generate yourself. After that, the nodes gonna take into account the mask that you generated to create the lightning and reposition everything according to, to your image. So to test out these nodes, I'm gonna use some images that I am gonna generate it using the SCXL turbo model. Then I'm gonna resize it and try to change the background alongside with the lightning using these nodes. And let's see what we can obtain using this AC light group. So to do that, I'm gonna use this workflow, which is composed of four main group of nodes. The first one is the image generator. The second one is the AC light group, which can allows us to redirect light using this mask over here. The third one is the IP adapter, which can help us to increase the quality of this image and obtain more impressive results. And lastly, it is the SD upscale nodes since this light group has the disadvantage of working in low resolution. So we're gonna try to upscale the images to obtain more impressive results. Okay. So I'm gonna disable this IP adapter group and start working without the IP adapter. I'm gonna only use the prompt text here and try to change the background of the, this image over here. You can also disable this group and use a load image. With this load image, you can choose any image that, that you want to use and just plug it over here. But right now, I'm gonna stick to this image. Just select the text prompt here, the positive one, and enter sunlight desert background and click q prompt as you can see we have our image over here and it is quite impressive okay now i'm gonna do sunlight canyon background It is also very fast since we are working with low resolution. The results here is also very good. Let's change sunlight to daylight. I think this one seems better than the other one. As you can see, this icy light group can be varied only with the text prompt. Just enter the type of light that you want and also the background that you wanna put your image in. Okay, let's try out jungle. Generated an image of a jungle. It also changed the, co the color of the helmet and added some face. Well, it is not as good as it is. Let's do another example. Yeah, as you can see with the forest, it gives more better results. Okay, now in order to reposition the light, just select this node over here. I'm gonna bring it here. And you can see that we have the location, the X and Y location of this mask, blur mask here. This location is gonna allow you to control your light more precisely. I'm gonna change the X location. And you can see that it changed over here. And we have a different result. 
you can also adjust the shape width and height by selecting by changing those numbers for example if i type in 256 you have another results you can see that we have less lightning over the image and this it's gonna depend to you you can select every shape or location that you want to create another tip that i'm gonna show you is the mask expand you can choose the value here and increase it as you can see the mask is more extended and it will cover more area also the ac light conditioning allows you to use a multiplier which gonna increase the lightning over the image let's choose a value of 0 0.2 And you can see the difference here. I'm gonna add an image compare. I'm gonna use a load image. Download this image. Then put it over here. And we can test out these nodes. Let's change the value. And you can see the difference between them. This one have more light in the final image. Okay, good. I'm gonna delete those one and do so another massive lightning. Let's change up the type of lightning to to neon. And here you can see that it perfectly changed the background alongside with the lightning. Okay. So once you are satisfied with this image, you can enable this upscale group by set group to always, and it's gonna automatically upscale your image. Let's try it out. For the upscale model, I use the ultra sharp model and I use those settings alongside with the Jekonon Nightlink model, which gonna allows us to create to upscale those images in short amount of time. As you can see, we have our upscaled version. I, I, I upscale it by factor of two, and it took approximately one minute to upscale it good now i'm gonna show you the effect when we add in an, an ip adapter to these nodes let's disable the upscale nodes and and activate the ip adapter set the group to always i'm gonna plug this over here and for the ip adapter we have our image we're gonna resize it then we're gonna Prepare the image for the IP adapter and use it as a reference for our final results. I am using an IP adapter plus SD model since we are working with low resolution. I'm gonna try different image and see their effect. Let's disable this text prompt here and let's do our first try. As you can see, with IP adapter, we don't need to type in any text and it automatically changed the background and the light according to our image. It's gonna take all those colors and blend it automatically with our image. You can change the weight of the IP adapter to, to obtain different results, but I suggest you to keep it lower than 0 0.5. Let's try out with 0 0.6. You can see that we have different results. It's gonna depend on our weight. Okay, let's reduce it again and change the image. I'm gonna select this small light over here. and see the results 
you can see it changed completely the background. Let's increase the 0 0.6. And here we have another results. And we can see that all the results are quite impressive. Okay, let's do another try with another image. I'm going to use this image over here since it has a cost 6 and it is an underwater image. Let's reduce it again to 0 0.4. And nothing happened yet. Let's change the weight again. As you can see, it when increasing the weight, it also obtained the face of the, the uh, of the man. So let's play with the weight again. Then we're gonna try adding some text prompt in order to fix this issue. Yeah, zero point five seems more cohesive underwater as you can see we have the underwater lightning but we still have the face over here let's try out decreasing to 0 0.2 yeah it fixed the issue but we still have some shadow of the man here as you can see, the weight is the key factor to obtain good results. And when we combine it with the text prompt, it is more precise. Yeah, that's good. We have completely suppressed the man face from the helmet. Okay, let's see another example. If I take this image over here and try out without the text prompt, you can see that we have another amazing results. So it depends on what the lightning you want for your background and also how precise you want the final image to be. IP adapter increase dramatically the precision and also the quality of the final image. You can combine it with the text prompt to obtain more impressive results. And you can also play with the weight of the IP adapter and try to change the location of the light source if you want. And once you are satisfied with your results, you can upscale it with the ultimate SD upscale. However, if you know another upscale method, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, that was a quick tutorial for today. Please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to watch my other videos about Comfy UI Stable Diffusion. Thank you.